39 days until the epic 40th season of the challenge means 39 days to remember the 39 seasons that came before kicking things off where the whole thing began now referred to as season one road rules all stars premiering april 20th 1998 and building off the double shot of inspiration that was john brennan's road trip to la for real world and the real world boston playing road rules islands in a crossover event Road Rules All-Stars took five real-world alum, put them in Winnebago, had them compete across five episodes in a true Road Rules season that spanned locations including Montreal, Lake Placid, Wellington in Auckland, New Zealand, and finally good old Los Angeles. I absolutely love the cast they chose for this inaugural attempt. We had Eric Nice, Mr. MTV at the time, arguably the biggest initial celebrity the real world had created. Calvin Klein adds the whole thing. John Brennan, the cowboy country singer that had left a major impact on real world LA and had been a part of one of those pieces of inspiration, as we mentioned. Rachel from real world San Fran and Sean from real world Boston standouts from their season. And those two would find Roman during this season and become the first ever challenge couple now having moved on to i believe nine at last check kids big time careers in politics and political media and then we had cynthia roberts real world miami star who absolutely steals the show here on road rules all-stars with her commentary her charm just absolutely hilarious and lovable throughout the five episodes she was my mvp of the season for sure highlights of this inaugural season include Looted. A night at an insane asylum where the professional ghost hunter was taken aback by Eric Nice, openly hoping for a spirit to enter his body. What I can only assume became the origin idea for the eventual hit TV show Dirty Jobs, as one episode featured the group, you know, milking cows and doing other duties around this big industrial farm. Hilarity ensued. They zorbed in New Zealand, which somehow didn't end up with anyone with a broken back. They rocked the jukebox to glory days there as well. There was a sleepover at Real World LA alum Beth's house where Beth entertained, as only Beth always does. But most of all, the biggest highlight for me of the season was there was a lot of heartfelt chats that felt very real, that brought the purpose of a real world season right into the middle of a road rule season, with my favorite one being the kind of confrontation over breakfast where Eric and his castmates all kind of handling their newfound celebrity differently. Again, Eric's was, you know, as big as anyone's. They handled that differently. They had different goals for the show, and they kind of hashed it out. They had multiple conversations about this friction right there in the middle of filming. It was very, very cool and felt very real world inside of Road Rules, which was kind of the purpose of the show. Ultimately, this wasn't actually a challenge season, but it became known as season one because it gave us the first piece of what would become the challenge puzzle, and that is repeat cast members. This season's lasting legacy is that it proved that the audience wanted to see more from their favorite cast members. Until this point, no one had been brought back for a second season of anything on MTV or really in reality TV history up to that point. This show proved MTV could tell people stories over the course of many seasons of television instead of just one single experience, while also laying the groundwork that some competitive framework was best to facilitate these experiences. Road Rules All-Stars, it's wonderful. The cast is great. It's a fun two and a half hour watch, an incredible time capsule for sure. But it is still a Road Rules season, not actually a challenge season it's five 30 minute episodes it's five cast members so it's a little limited in scope as you'd imagine the first of its kind would be you weigh it all out and i'm not going any higher in my grading than the good tier i give it a b minus and we roll on to day two